I'm Lisa Haysha and welcome to the Legacy Interviews. Today I have John Perlman. John Perlman is a plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. Tell me he doesn't have a lot to share. <laughs> a lot of inside secrets about life, beauty, what does it all mean? And he's met extraordinary people. He's an extraordinary person. And I met him recently at a mixer of the best of LA. He won Best Plastic Surgeon. So I'm so interested in really picking his mind. So I asked him if he would do this interview because I think who he is is so fascinating. I could never imagine being a plastic surgeon and you know taking that risk with someone's face or body. So please share with me. Tell me a little bit about your journey and how you created this life you lead. Well, it's very interesting. Thank you for that nice introduction. I am flattered. Um, life has been interesting, as I'm sure it is for anyone, but it's, it has its particular challenges, both as a professional, dealing with people. I've learned a lot, a lot about human nature, a lot about myself, but an important part of my life is also being a parent and being a friend to people who are close to me and trying to be a decent person, I think, and using good, good judgment. Uh, and having high values. But as a plastic surgeon, I, I started my route many years ago um, and decided to go into medical school. First, I thought I'd be an engineer yes. and maybe a scientist and you know, every kid was involved or interested in space. But the reality was I liked dealing with people and, and did decide to choose medical school. Fortunately, got into a few and went to a fine one in New York City. After that, it was a decision as to whether to go into uh, a cardiology or to become a, a surgeon. Of course, I chose the latter. And in time, doing surgery on the brain, doing surgery in the heart, I realized that when I was an older man, probably about 40 from that perspective, probably not like to be running into an emergency room in the middle of the night. And so I liked <clears throat> working on different parts of the body. Plastic surgery became very appealing to me. Uh, that was quite a commitment because after four years of medical school, four years of college, five years of surgical residency, I had to do another two years of plastic and reconstructive surgery. Um, that all completed about 30 years ago, and I started on the path of uh, working as a professional and, and taking the responsibility for making people feel better about themselves, getting them through illnesses, and subsequently specializing more in getting to make people feel good about who they are. Part of that is, of course, how they look and how they perceive their own body image. Right. Um, but it's been very fulfilling. Uh, my initial work was focused on burns and industrial hand injuries, and I'm proud to say I had the successful experience of reattaching a, a, a draftsman's hand one mm. time as an example. Um, um, other times, re reconstructing severe injuries to people's faces, hands, bodies, uh, and it was very gratifying. But these are people who really didn't want to be there. They were, it was forced upon them. They generally had an accident or some, some trauma. And I realized that people who feel badly about their appearance, for example, the classic bump on the nose or a girl with a long yes. nose or a large nose, their issues are as important to them and are as significant in, in their life as, as a severe burn would be to somebody who had that misfortune. So I realized that there's a lot of value in helping people to feel better about how they look 